So hey guys and the MIUI 12 is now official, there are so many new changes, so many features and this is the Redmi K20 slash Mi 90, you can install it right now and it's working amazing as of now. Here's a question for you all, which OS you think is the best? MIUI vs iOS vs Samsung's One UI vs Pure Stock vs Oxygen OS, comment right now. So this is the basic main screen after the installation of MIUI 12 ROM. You can select from 5 languages and English is one of them. So basic setup nothing new here. What's new is the animations, new features and yes the notification panel. So Xiaomi has finally copy pasted iOS notifications and quick settings menu. You can right pull for quick settings and left for notifications. Here's a comparison of iOS vs MIUI 12. That's not a huge gap at all. You can also check more quick setting tiles in the MIUI 12. The animations are not fine cause it's an early firmware. I said this earlier also, these animations are so heavy animations. Xiaomi have to tune them for low end devices and the mid range devices. Then comes the home screen, nothing new here. Recents got this new animation and there's this my favorite floating window settings. You can open these applications in a mini window and it's super handy, super cool. You can play games, watch movies and you can also chat with your friends while doing all this. Swipe down to expand and swipe up to close. Great. And then there's new wallpapers, however Xiaomi won't enable super wallpapers for low end devices. That means it's only for flagship. So if you own Poco X2, Note 8 slash Note 9, Mi 90, K20, you won't get these super wallpapers. They are basically realistic live wallpapers of planets, earth and nature. And now comes the settings, lots of animations, infographics, images. Let me start with my device section. There shows all the specifications with cool new animations. You can check out the storage, how to clean the storage, how to free up some memory and this all is so handy for a new user out there. Always on display and lock screen settings, you can select different animations and images from your always on display. It looks really good. Yeah, I know you have seen this thing before in the MIUI 11 also, but they have added more options in there. Then there's display settings, dark mode and all. Now this one is most important, it's privacy. This is something I was waiting for. Now you can fully control the applications, you can allow them to use hardware, you can allow them to use camera, GPS while using the application only and you can deny them. This is something Google is doing with the Android 11 and Xiaomi is also doing same, the settings shows all. You all can find more new animations, more new attractive user interface in the settings. There are so many small changes in the small applications as well like dialer, messages, camera and its user interface, file manager, rest is same. You can also install the Google Play Store via get apps applications. Just search Google and install this application. This new rotate animation works really well. You can see the settings and here's this game application. Okay, so battery life has been fine so far. But honestly, it's not as good as MIUI 11. It won't be cause there are so many new animations, so many heavy animations that they are for sure gonna eat battery. It's not worse, but not as good as MIUI 11 as of now. Rest of the design features are really impressive. I really like the opening and closing animations. I really like the new floating window thing and it's nice overall. This thing is best for those who are new to Android. I mean you can learn everything via the infographics and the animations. So yes that's all. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like subscribe and peace out.